What's up, Anafinix? This is Tefnik9 from ultimatedroid.blogspot.com. With me, I have the Galaxy Nexus, and this process will work for GSM, Ryzen, and Sprint, so keep that in mind. It's going to be showing you how to fix that dead Android when you enter into clock mode recovery mode, because I get about 10 emails and comments per day asking me how do I fix that. I give a response, and most of you can't, um, still can't understand it, so I'm just going to be making a video to help both of our lives easier. So right away, just leave your phone there and plug it in. So make sure you plug in your phone via micro USB, and just we'll go. We'll be back to the phone in a little bit. But right here, you're gonna have. You probably seen this earlier with Windows. If you see my other uh, videos for Windows, is Galaxy Nexus Toolkit. Now I will give you the latest version. If there's an update, I will always update these links for toolkits. So just open it up. Let it start up. All right. Now to start it up. Here you will see uh, the Android versions and the type of version. So make sure you choose the correct one for yours. If you don't know what Android version you have, you can look right here. Let's go into settings. Let's show you the Android version and build number. Let's go to about phone. And you can see the Android version right there. And the build number right there. So my Android version is 4.1.1 and my build number is JR003L. So I'm going to be choosing that one. So mine is uh, number seven. Yours might be a different uh, number. And I, I have a GSM version, so I'm gonna be choosing one of these. And if you have a GSM USA, you're gonna be choosing one of those. If you have CMA, and that one's for Sprint. So choose the correct one for yours. So mine is number seven, enter. Seven, enter. Now you'll be on this screen. You're gonna be going to install Clockwork Mod Recovery. So that one is actually right there. Right there, it is Flash Recovery, Clock on my Touch, ta uh, comma, TWRP Touch. So that is number six. So I'm going to be choosing six, enter. And you'll be choosing the first one, Flash Clock on my Recovery Touch. Don't choose the second one. That was no good. <laughs> okay, now it says Flash and Clock on my Recovery Touch. Now it says Waiting to, for Device. When it says Waiting for Device, enter your phone into bootloader mode. So once again, make sure your phone is plugged in and power off your phone. So wait till it gets powered off. And I hold the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. So just keep holding until you feel vibration. Just keep holding. Okay. The vibration and now you'll be on this green Android screen. Now don't even touch it, just leave it alone for now. Let me actually try to move this back so you can actually see it's actually on there. And now you probably saw that it was um it flashed clock my recovery. That's why it back went on back, that's why it went back on the main menu. So now you're all good to go. And now whenever you reboot your phone and you enter you go back into clock my recovery, you will get dead Android. But since you're on bootloader mode, enter into recovery mode right away. So do not reboot your phone at any point for the first time when you install Clock Mod Recovery. As long as you do this process exactly, do not reboot your phone when you install it. Enter into Clock Recovery mode right away. As you can see now, I'm on Clock Mod Recovery without the dead Android. So hopefully you found this video helpful. I know it was a little quick and all that. I will also have a step-by-step -step guide in the description below. I think I was talking too quick, but enter into Clock Mod Recovery right away after you install um, Recovery. Do not reboot your phone. Do not. Uh, Tap the power button on the green start screen and choose recovery. Press the volume up twice and then recovery for power button. So that is how you get rid of the dead Android. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe and rate if you found this video helpful. Thanks guys. And if you need to contact me for this video or any other videos, any Android support at all, you can contact me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links in the description below. And if it's an emergency for any type of Android device problem, you can contact me at techfinic9 at gmail.com. I will respond within 24 hours. See you next video.